Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do a camera review for the OnePlus 3T and along with that we will take reference of the Google Pixel XL and the OnePlus 3. So first talk about 3 and 3T. So I have done a detailed camera comparison between 3 and 3T like video stabilization, front camera test and a lot of stuff. But the OnePlus 3T comes with the EIS 2 which according to the company is a better in terms of stabilization and in the low light too. And also uh, why I have taken Pixel guys, so uh, this is the best camera phone as of now even 2017 too until as there is new device come so when we compare with the 3t with the pixel you can actually feel how uh, great the picture quality of this 3t is compared to the pixel so you can eventually feel if the camera is your primary requirement so and budget is your concern so you can actually check out how good the 3t camera is compared to the pixel because pixel is definitely great at the cost layer and if you talk about the 4k so there's a detailed video i've done between these two devices so let's go and see how the 3t camera performs we start our test with the morning time somewhere near to 7 am so both 3t and the pixel takes good picture so if you just put them side by side there's uh, not a much difference here as you can see all the colors comes to be natural and fine so even though if you just take far objects they come closer so it's pretty cool here at that time here in delhi as you can see it's a lot of fox here so now if we talk about the selfie side uh, i really like the OnePlus 3T since it's got a much higher megapixel but as you can notice uh, 3T's pictures are much on the cooler side while the pixel you can say is a warmer or some bit of natural side as you can say but um, most people are going to like uh, 3T pictures from the selfie cam. The next condition is when there is a direct sunlight object or some shadows conditions so this is the by side to picture so I really like both pictures fine 3T is a bit much exposed or sharper you can say pixels tends to other natural otherwise if you take far objects it's good and i did felt that 3t sometime having issues in focusing pixel is much quicker because it has a later laser out of focus otherwise uh, this is also you can see uh, 3t here is on the cooler side while the pixel is on the warmer the natural side looks fine and now these are the objects when i took inside the shadows here uh, slight bit of sun rays here this is complete shadow of the daytime looks good both side yellow all uh, this scrap materials come fine and i don't know why 3d comes a bit darker here otherwise it's good and notice the background things are more exposed on the pixel so this here uh, 3d looks much sharper compared to the pixel because it's got a much a bit exposed the front side i will say 3d again is a good and pixel here produces if you take uh, objects in a direct sunlight so it's kind of much reddish or brownish i don't know why but it's good 3T, I really like the front camera of 3T is great, but don't forget to watch the comparison with the OnePlus 3. I did notice that a lot of users too commented that. So you can see a Pixel is a much brownish here, reddish here, kind of, I will say. Let's try a couple of zoom here. So there's not a much difference. Both pictures uh, do perfect zoom. Uh, Pixel is slightly better, I will say, 10 to 20 percent. Otherwise, uh, 3T also does a great job in when taking zoom on the pictures. Under the in indoor natural light, both phones take almost same colors except green, red and yellow. Well, if you take uh, green blur, uh, pixel takes more accurate photos, I must say that. But other colors like gold and silver, the uh, rest are fine. So, I really felt that 3T is not taking green blurs perfect. When taking red pictures, uh, 3T is moving toward orange and the pixel is moving toward pink, I don't know why. And same with the yellow, yellow becomes more exposed on 3T but pixel is slightly toward natural or kind of dull I will say. But both are failed to take natural. Otherwise, all colors like black, you can see violet, silver, and other comes color comes fine, and not an issue. And I did also felt that the natural green color uh, comes slightly same on both the phones. It's not like the you know artificial. And also the selfie side, 3T is really better here in indoor conditions too. You can see pictures are more sharper and brighter here compared to the Google Pixel XL front camera. Now guys, this is again test. Uh, it's the same object. I tried to take picture on the artificial light when there are a couple of LEDs light near to uh, 7 or 8 pm i will say so almost uh, not much difference and also i'm doing the same comparison of the 3t only not the pixel with the more daytime and the, uh, this artificial natural comparison so then you can feel that and i've taken also consideration of hq mode when it's there the second picture is the hq otherwise uh, uh, on the night side i did felt that as you can see yellow was a bit slightly dull or faded i can say otherwise all colors and also notice the difference in the blue color in the night side when there is artificial light how does it looks like so blue is really got change here green is fine here the natural now just comparing the same the 3d images here but we took on the natural light on the morning now on the right side we have the artificial light on the night time when we are taking so also notice the color and the red color comes slightly faded on the night side that means on the artificial light gold is fine red is uh, 
sort of fine uh, more accurate on the artificial i will say yellow is kindly same as blue got change white is almost much shinier on the night and uh, black is much darker here violet is kind of disappeared silver is much brighter here so depends on again what you like here both are fine now this is the low light test that is most important and i'm really disappointed here so google pixel has a known lens flare issue that you can see kind of circle comes out so google uh, awareness of that thing and they are working on that it's kind of soft update and also you can see the color of the soil here this is a wet condition so again uh, oneplus ct is on the cooler side and the pixels are the warmer and the natural side so i have taken the pictures both considering sometimes your hq and this uh, non hdr so it's written perfectly on the photos you can see so hq mode is much better compared to hdr on the night side when there is a bit of uh, light source in complete dark you are not able to make a much difference between hq and uh, it won't work perfectly and also you can see again the lens flare issue on the pixel and but it has got more exposure uh, more light details because it has more micro now, now you can see this is where the pixel really takes great shot when there is a completely low light and 3t is not able to take that again uh, 3t is much exposed here but it looks fine this is again you can see pixel shots are much clearer in the night this is due to higher micron count on the pixel and this is guys uh, uh, without light here now the same object i had taken with the flash since the 3t has a single led so it makes a much wider and the pixel has a dual tone led so it distributes properly and this is the selfie side again depends on what kind of photos you like i like pixel photos it's fine looks natural and 3t is which exposed and cooler This has morning sample guys and you can see pixel is not able to focus clearly if I just press have to focus you can see uh, both 3T and pixel have issues in focusing pixel takes a bit more time here but now 3T has focusing issues if I just tap it turn the focus you can see that's working fine some dogs barking in the morning Morning time, same place. We took all the situations. One plus CG is much brighter. We have higher megapixel count here. I just woke up this morning, 7 a.m. So, let me show you here. How does it look like on other place? You can see a lot of fog background here. It's a kind of cool here in Delhi. So, that's how. There's a back camera test, 1080p, 30fps. First we will test the stabilization. Holy crap, next pixel XL is, what a smooth, doesn't look like, like we are walking. So you can see so much jittery and shaky effect on OnePlus 3T, 1080p. Pretty smooth pixel is like, just kept on a, you know, plain table or glass of water. All right, so here we go. I just walk, I'm just going to run here. I'm running okay oh my god pixel is so good I don't know 3t I just took 4k's in the night it was pretty stable but anyway watch the quality here so there's a green tree here here's the sun shining scroll is flying I guess I can see a damn dog sleeping there again it was sleeping again the same time when I was you know comparing with the OnePlus 3 now we'll do some focusing tests so I got the end here so let's try to pick that end where is it yeah here's the one if I just move up move down so which one can take much closer just gonna take here okay he is moving faster than I thought so both does pretty really great job both phones does have very close I'm not able to sit properly here's the one 
Okay. And that's done. So both phones perform really great. You can see 3D took a bit of time focusing again. So this is another 1080p stabilization test inside the uh, dark. Inside the forest area, I'm just walking. The 1080p definitely is better for pixel. But in terms of 4K, when I see 3D was really much better compared to the pixel. I was new feel that you guys have to let me know. Pixel is battery is smooth here and it's truly the natural color. You can see the leaves. They aren't that much green yet because it's not rain season here and 3D shows like it's much brighter green. Anyways that's another 1080p inside the same shadows. So you can see. I really like the sun camera for the 3D. So I'm gonna do a different test here right now. I'm in a shadow of a tree. So feel the quality I'm rotating here. So you can see uh, 3D is a bit dark here. But as soon as I move it here, yeah. But here you can see 3D is much brighter. It looks pretty clear image compared to the pixel. Obviously, it's twice the megapixel we got on the pixel. Alright, now I'm just moving to the yeah, direct sunlight. And uh, let's check out and see. If we can really do any stuff. Okay, we are inside the dark. No, sorry, in the bright sunlight. Yeah, people staring here in India. If you just try to do these kind of stuff, they will see what you're doing. Anyway, uh, see, both are dark now. But one plus three T takes a bit of time in getting dark. Immediately, you can see. No, pixel takes a bit of time. Dark here. Anyway, that's fine. So alright guys, it's pretty really low light situation here. So right side I have OnePlus 3D, left side I'm using my Google Pixel XL. So completely different result here. 3D is a bit of more dark here. Pixel has a bit of noise, I know, but you can see that's how it looks like. Okay. So notice the stabilization here. How smooth is Pixel? One plus 3D picture world is not that too bad. I can say that the uh, skies are much darker here on 3D, but stabilization, I'm not really happy. See the lights. Here we go. Okay. If I could come down further. Another low light here. Just we got this small tube light system. All right. So here you can see OnePlus 3D is totally black and the pixel is with a bit noise. I can see things like details, lights, somebody is coming through out here front. Notice the OIS too. So guys, another front camera sample. So I kind of like OnePlus 3 photos now. I don't know why. Back camera is really great but, but uh, looking at the front camera, I see a lot of noise here as soon as I move in the dark. It's the front side light, so definitely sharpness is more in the 3T. And you can see it's a bit yellow, not sure why. I found the same one with plus 3 comparison to. But now, as I move in this side, you can see I see a lot of noise here. But I don't know, Pixel has this uh, red light issues. I'm not sure why that is the reason. So, anyway, whatever it is, here are the samples you can check. So there it is guys, uh, detailed camera comparison and review for the OnePlus 80 and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this is Sarah, I'll catch you next video, have a great day.